Hello again to the YouTube channel Digital Architecture. My name is Saad and I will be talking today about the live connection between Ashik and Grasshopper and we will look around how we can create zones and we will take some techniques that will help us do this. We know zones in Ashik head are drawn by a 2D line actually and the height. So I will show you how you can actually transform a cube or any shape to a zone and we will take the height automatically from this shape. We can also like define any extruded 2D line and then set that as a zone if we set one pre rip as long as it's like not slanted wall it will work actually and the height is always changeable and we'll take another method or technique on how we can actually take the zones from Archicad and define them in Grasshopper so we can later create like walls or get some more from them and here we see like we'll take some techniques on identifying the walls between the zones will be different from the outside walls so hope you are ready and let's get started in this small and easy lesson in the connection between Archika and Grasshopper so to start I have a clean file, new file that's connected to the Archika Grasshopper with the, using the Archika Grasshopper live connection I will start defining this uh, PREP here but first we can take a look how we can actually draw zones and we said before like in Archicad we need a polyline or polygon that's like a 2D line in a plane like this one reset this curve set one and then we need the stamp position we can take the area to take the center and then set this at the stem position and what left ah set one curve it's not working now it's like and now it's defined but you see the height need to be changed from the seating if i don't have a seating here the height will not be changeable so we need to get seating from zones actually we can hold this like this Taking the setting, we see here we have zones, name, category, and then here height with edge. So I can plug in the setting and make like a height, and then it will be changeable this height. But we know like zones in Ladybug and the uh, Honeybee are three D B reps, so it will be like. Much easier if I have like a component that will change this P rep directly to a zone Archicad. If I'm doing something between uh, Grasshopper, Ladybug, and Archicad. So to start with this P rep, we'll define this P rep. Set one P rep. And then we know we need to the 2D line as a ground floor or as like a 2D uh, planar curve to, to draw this uh, zone. So we can use actually the project component, project an object into a plane. So if I project this uh, B rib into the XY default plane, I will get a 2D line. A closed B rib that's actually so uh, flat. If I can see this, I'll get this 2D, it's like 2D surface almost. So I can deconstruct this. Deconstruct the P rib. Mm -hmm. Deconstruct P rib. And then we'll take the 2D lines and we'll need to delete, to delete the duplicate lines because we have many lines above each other. We have this, uh, this line, this line, and here this line will be as like a point almost. So we see some failed or body lines or li line like body lines. So I just do remove duplicates we have from many plugins remove duplicate lines it should work and I get like five lines or four lines should be actually one is like with the high with the length of zero so I make a join curves now I have a bully line curve that's closed so with this now I have a 2d line that I can plug into the design zone stamp now I need also the center or the, can take it from the area or like much better to make polygon center. Let's 
will be faster. I have stamp. Now I get my uh, zone as needed, but the height still not right there. But at least now I have the 2D is working correctly. So how I can take the height? I need to calculate the height between the two surfaces. With this, I need to deconstruct the B rib here. Just do it this way. And now I need to check which face is which by those faces. So to do this, I can check for planar. Is planar. And from here, I get the frames. I see the direction of each frame. And now I can identify that this frame and this frame are actually similar. They are the only, uh, look here, in this direction I have two last frames that are looking upward. If I check the Z here, we see this one and this one. Those are the two frames. So I need to check the direction based on the vector. So if I collect the vectors from here, now I have only the vectors and I can now make an expression using math. I plug this in as x. I need to compare it to the xy plane. That's one here. I make the vector from it. Or I can actually use the z vector. It should be the same. Yes, I can plug the z vector like this. And now all I can see is I make a condition and say if x equal to y then it's true or false now let me see what we, what I get here see it's false by everyone and true by the last two of them and now from here I can make a cal option cal component cal pattern and I take those uh, faces or the planner actually I can if I need to calculate the, cent the centers or the, uh, the distance between those two centers. So I take the plan surface as a list and this is my pattern. And now if I had everything, I have only those two frames. Now it's much, much easier to make. I know I have only two and I should only have two. I can make list item. I get the first and second one. Should only two and make a distance component between one and two. Now I have the distance, the height. So from here, all I need is the seating from zone seating, like this here, in, and distance is the height. Now I see so easily I can select the top surface and change the height. That's working perfectly. And if I change also the component as I like, it's not like this. See, it's change as I like. So 2D from ground floor or the height is changing. Now let's take a look at the other technique or example, how I can identify the zones from Archicand and draw walls from them. Many use the stamp as a tool to to start the first design to make the areas and check that all of our area are correct and as needed and they are uh, they are good in the in the ground floor or in the project in general. Then one draw one can draw the walls. We can try to automate this uh, this um, way of working in Archicad by using the grasshopper to later identify the zones and create walls. So first let's identify those zones. Set multiple zone. One, two, oops. Again, set multiple zones, now she can one, two, three, escape. I got those three zones. And now what I can do is uh, deconstruct the zone component. And from here I can see the grasshopper will give me the stand position, it's like the center, I don't need it. The P rib, the 3D geometry, if I like this here. See, I get the 3D geometry as a B rib, and I can get 
the body gun which what I needed so from here I can take those curves that draw those uh, zones so here I need those to draw the walls we know walls need 2D lines to draw the uh, any wall in ArchiCAD but as I know from the walls component but if I bake here I know I know I have one 2D and another 2D curve and we have a separate or like a 2D curves uh, above each other which will make me two walls actually instead of one so for this I need to make a little of uh, computational way to change those two walls and maybe identify them and make them separate uh, setting than the outside walls so from here I make explode curve now split everyone and I need to identify those walls and see if it's like have an overlap or it's like alone to do this I will uh, cut the I need to use component to define the points on on, uh, on curves. With this, I can choose the cut duplicates. Choose duplicate points, sort duplicate points, cut duplicates. So I have the settings, the, the segments here. I can identify a point in them would be the middle point. Now I have point for each curve. I black this this point here. Now I get instead of twelve point four, I have still four. I need to flatten those here, like this. Now from twelve to ten, so it identify that two points here above each other. And here, what I can use actually, first I need two types from this here. In one, I will cut everything, cut all. Now I have only the outside points and the inside are away and this here I will be uh, leave one. So this leave one I get everything not duplicated. So now I make here a list item. List item that will take those segments and I have those indices from them. What this gives me is outside walls. Now I see I have only the outside wall in here. To get only the duplicated, I will need to make a cal index. See, we use two different methods to cal and select items. Here I'm selecting the ID or the indices, and this one I will cal the indices. That leave me with the only two curves that's not mentioned, which are duplicated. Now I see I separate those two curves to two groups. One is the outside, one is the inside. Now all I need to do is draw those walls, make a wall, Archicad wall. I need can black this here in. I got like some thick walls. The other walls will be with different seating I can make like some wall seating and make those structure basic maybe make the is it center let's change the thickness make slider maybe 10 centimeter or 15 this way I am getting the inside walls separated from the outside walls so that's what's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new in Grasshopper and Archicad. I will see how we can implement these techniques later in our video series in the Archicad Grasshopper Live Connection. You see, like it's always basic how we can draw things in Archicad, but sometimes we need it calculated another way in Grasshopper. Like how we can uh, change the 3D box or mesh or b rep to a 3D zone. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to watch other videos from the Archicad Grasshopper Life Connection. See you later.